With this, we have our next presentation on Sensor for Metro and Railway Application. We request Mr. Ankush Pandari, Managing Director, E plus E Electronic, to please join us on stage for the presentation. Mr. Ankush Pandari is Managing Director of E plus E Electronic India Private Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of E plus E Electronic GmbH Austria, having multiple subsidiaries of, across the world, including US, China, S, South Korea, Italy, France, Germany. Mr. Ankush Pandari is an engineering graduate and management postgraduate and has previously worked with industry leaders in sensing domain in various progressive roles, including sales, business development, product development, product management, quality management, etc. Let's welcome Mr. Ankush Bhandari on stage. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is the last session for today, and the audience has been very fantastic for the day. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the day is longer, so I would not take a lot of your time. And uh, uh, last presentation is always very difficult because everyone wants to go back home. So, but I'm sure uh, we will survive. So let me give you a little bit uh, background on what uh, E plus E does. We are just a newly incorporated company in India. We have been in India only for three months now. And the thrust on uh, Atmanirbhar Bharat, uh, incredible India, instrumentation in India, it is all growing. Uh, sensor industry has been always a pivotal part of uh, any manufacturing excellence. From morning, a lot of people have spoken about uh, how we want to do make in India. Uh, I think the synonym is uh, make incredible things in India and make it at a very competitive prices. That is what the thrust of make in India is. And uh, sensors and automation does a pivotal part of it. In the pyramid of sen uh, sensors, if you see efficiency, safety, and comfort, these are the three things which brings uh, the real uh, usage of sensor. So, uh, we are a company which is a member of Austrian Association of Rail. Uh, we are an ISO 9001 company, automotive grade approval. We have our own clean rooms and many other things. I don't want to get into details of what our company does is and what the infrastructure we have. But more importantly, it is one of the finest companies uh, producing the finest sensors uh, because we start from the sensing element directly. We start from the glass, glass particles and then build up the whole sensor. Uh, after my presentation, you can please visit our uh, booth at the back uh, to see our sensors. Uh, what we all do in uh, the railway application, uh, across the world we have been very, very successful including China, South Korea, Germany, Austria and every, everywhere else. Uh, we do climate control uh, monitorings and uh, increase the efficiency there. Uh, we do pneumatics wherein compressed air is involved. So we have sensors around that. We do propulsion and we do infrastructure related products. Uh, I'll go in detail with each of the product and uh, then uh, I mean I would open it out for the audience to have any question. So we do the climate control with the CO2, humidity and temperature sensors. Uh, these are all used in the roof mounted HVAC units which, uh, which, which are there in the long, uh, long duration trains and also in metros and uh, monorails and everywhere. Why, why do you need all these kind of sensors? Because the efficiency is a lot more important now and the comfort of the passenger is increasingly getting motivated around that. If I ask this audience, why do you want to travel in metro, everyone would say because it is convenient, it is having the best of the climate inside. So I just have put like, uh, how do you do with CO2 monitoring inside the passenger coach and how do you really increase the efficiency. So right now most of the HVAC is done around what exactly is the sitting capacity in the train and you run the HVAC system according to that. Uh, there is a new concept wherein you s measure the CO2 uh, depending on how many passengers are traveling in the train or how many passengers are traveling in metro and you're, you run your HVAC system according to that. So on the peak hours in Delhi when the metro is full and you have like 150, 120 people in one coach, you run the AC system very fast with high changes of uh, air per, per hour and then when in the mid time around 12 or 1 o'clock when it is not that 
uh, you, you decrease the HVAC system. So the efficiency has been maintained around that. Uh, just a table around that, uh, so to maintain 1400 ppm CO2 concentration, which is a very bad air, people normally want to have a 800 to 900 ppm as the air, uh, you still have to run your AC system at 5000 <laughs> meter cube per hour, which is like almost half the capacity of the RMPU. So uh, you always have to maintain the solution between whether I need to give the good air or I need to run the uh, AC on the highest capacity. So that's the kind of challenge you have and with CO2 monitoring you can obviously increase your efficiency and decrease uh, the consumption of your electricity, consumption of energy. The other thing what we do is uh, measurement of uh, compressed air and uh, measurement of dew point in the compressed air line. So I've been in the industry for 15 years and I go to people and ask them that uh, do, is there a leakage in your compressor system? And everyone says, yes, we have the leakage, but we don't have the time to set it right. It's like, we know that smoking is injurious, but many people does it. So, but uh, you have to have the option. If you, if you measure that how, many, how much lungs is getting affected by smoking, you would quit it. So it's exactly the same. If you know how much compressed air you're losing, you would obviously set it up. But at this point, it's like, okay, I'm losing the air, but I don't know how much air I'm losing and I don't have the time to set it up. So that is what we do. So we actually improve the efficiency of the systems, whatever uh, is involved in railway. So this is how we do it. Uh, you can use the dew point measurement in compressed air. Uh, you can use it in air brake. You can use it in pantograph. You can use it in uh, the door control. Everywhere where the compressed air is used, we have an option to play around and improve the efficiency. The third thing what we do is propulsion. So uh, I think everyone knows about how uh, the transformer oil plays a pivotal role and the water in transformer oil reduces the insulation. So this is one particular product which we do a lot in India and uh, uh, it measures the moisture in the transformer oil so that you can actually do the wear and tear at the right time, maintenance at the right time and you don't have the failures. So this is uh, how uh, we do it. We, we prevent the transformer insulation failures and short circuit by measuring the moisture in the system. So the last thing what we do is infrastructure. Obviously this is uh, uh, not so high in India but uh, there are places in the, uh, in the world where the temperatures are quite low, most of the year they are in snow, snowfall, and that's where they want to measure whether there is a snow on the railway line, where, where there is a snow on the weather stations and other. So we do humidity temperature measurement in, in those applications. We do heating of, uh, uh, we, we use sensors in heating of the railway line where there is a snow uh, and preventing any accidents and other thing. As a company, we have a global presence. We have uh, recently started in India and uh, we have a plan of starting our manufacturing look, uh, here as well. Uh, of course, as we grow uh, in the next few months, we would uh, also plan to have the manufacturing set up here. That's about uh, us uh, as E plus E. I want it to be short and crisp. Uh, open out for questions for the audience if you have any. Thank you. Can you please request Mr. Narendra Shah to join us on stage to present the memento to Mr. Ankush Bhandari.